Hi. Hello, guys. Can you hear me? Hi. 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 Good evening. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Hi. Good evening. Okay. Hi. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you, Mario. <laughs> What's your name? It was good. It was very nice. Thank you. Yes. Eating a lot. <laughs> So it's nice. been a great day, yes. Very good. Not, yeah. yeah, all right. So it's nice to have Mario, and Ale, and Natalie, and Eric, Elmer, Barbara, Ellie, Hi. Williams, you're here. Mm -hmm. Diego and Rocio, very good. Okay, so guys, welcome to class. How was your day, guys? It was good? It was a good day? Yeah, it was good. Yeah? yeah. All right. Yeah. Off. Rainy Bird. day. Rainy. Yeah, yeah, it rained. Yes, it rained. But luckily, it rained before the class, so that's good. <laughs> oh, all right. Yeah, yeah I know. Now. All in right. the Sahara, in the Sahara dust. Uh huh. Yeah. They have you have about it? That yeah, that's what I heard. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens with that. Very good. So Williams, I don't see you. Diego, I don't see you. Rocio, Elmer, Barbara, my goodness. Why are you guys the incognitos? <laughs> my, I'm sorry. My camera is not working. Ah, I don't believe you, William. Yeah. You can see? <laughs> yeah. It, it is, it's dark. I don't oh, know why. Oh, my goodness. Because yeah. You are on the dark side. All right. Very good. Okay, guys. So uh, <laughs> welcome again. All right. Is um, the second last class so tomorrow is our last class for these uh, pre-advanced module three so make sure guys that you register on advanced one okay that's the one that you are supposed to register in okay so um, with that being said I'm gonna take you to the topic of tonight which is what guys what are we studying tonight do you have any idea anybody idea of what the topic of tonight is about about oh. tag questions excellent tag questions thank you barbara now i can see you very good tag questions all right they are not very complicated they have a little bit of of that you need to concentrate a little bit of what's like what they are using and stuff but other than that it's nothing from the other you know from the other planet okay mario have you studied tough questions before yeah. yes or not yes yes i yes, remember very good ah, okay yes, you remember course, that. Uh, yeah. yeah all right yeah, what a, yeah what about natalie natalie you know what tough questions are um Yes. Yeah. Yes. All right. Uh -huh. Very good. Eric. Okay. Eric, do you know about no, that? Never. Question? Never. All right. Niños, hay una buhita por ahí. No sé de dónde viene. A ver. Ah. Thank you. All right. <laughs> okay. So, tall questions, guys. They're not very complicated. Well, I'm going to take you to um, the platform really quickly and then I'm going to share with you the. Um, the uh, ppt all right so we have tag questions can you see them yes yes yeah? all right very good yes. so here we have guys it says tag questions for opinions all right usually we use tag questions when we want to give an opinion of a certain in a certain way or when we want to double check the information that we have okay so that's when you use tag questions because when you add a tag question at the end all right of your sentence you are expecting an answer from the other person that you're talking to okay right so that's pretty much what they are for example here it says affirmative statements plus negative tag i'm gonna i'm just gonna read this to you and then i'm gonna take you to the presentation all right it says health insurance is really expensive isn't it there are lots of criminals in the city, aren't there? Graffiti makes everything look ugly, doesn't it? Colleague, uh, co sorry, colleges should provide daycare, shouldn't they? Child uh, negative statements plus affirmative tag questions. Childcare is there aren't enough police, um, are there? People don't care about our city, do they? 
And the last one, you can't find affordable child, child care. Can you? All right. So the first thing that you need, uh, that you guys need to understand and that you need to know is that when you add a tough question on your sentence, is because you are expecting an answer from the other person that you're talking to, either because you're giving an opinion or because you are trying to confirm the information that you have, okay? That's when you use that questions. Now, how do we form them? We use them like this, and this is what I'm gonna show you right now. Uh, this one right here. Okay, so we have top questions. Isn't that beautiful, guys? Then you wish you could be there. <laughs> anyway. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, right? But we still can't. All right, okay. So it says here, um, can someone read it for me? Here, thank you. Only one. Volunteer, volunteer. William. Uh, okay, William, thank you. Uh -huh. Okay. A third question is a special construction in English. Mm -hmm. It is a statement followed by a mini question. Very good. The whole sentence is a a question and the mini question at the end is called a question tag. All right. So when we, thank you, Williams. When we speak grammatically or when we're like grammatically speaking, this is what it is, guys. All right. The whole sentence, like the one that we were looking at on the uh, video from the platform, it says the whole sentence is called tag question. All right. <laughs> if you add the end or the mini question, that mini question is called a question tag, all right? Usually we say tag questions and we understand them, okay? But tag question is everything, okay? The whole sentence, everything together. Now, if you wanna separate and give them a name, a grammatical name is the tag question and the question tag, okay? That's what it is. But we, we usually understand it by tag questions, but I'm just telling you, the proper grammatical way or name that we should understand or like know about, okay? So the whole sentence is a top question and the mini question, it's called mini because it's very short, at the end is called a question tag, okay? Questions so far? Guys, no yes. questions? No? No. Okay, let's continue then. Here. All good. Excellent. It is used to guide the answer. Look at this. This is important for you to understand. It is used to guide the answer. Remember that like a few minutes ago, I said we use uh, the question tag or the top questions in order for us to confirm uh, the information or for you to agree with me or disagree with me, okay? In the top, in the question tag, all right, I'm guiding the answer, okay? And I'm gonna explain it how. It says in the direction or in the direction that the person who made the question wants, okay? This is the basic structure, guys. You have the statement. Vamos a separar the tag questions in two, in two um, moments, all right, or in two ways, okay? So we have the statement, which is positive. For example, rain is boring. We have a positive statement. Rain is boring. Nothing is negative about that statement, okay, or about that sentence. If your statement or the beginning of your top question is affirmative, your question tag needs to be negative, okay? So if I say rain is boring, that's a, this is affirmative. My uh, question tag is, isn't it? Okay, so this is another thing that you need to understand. You need to understand or question tags, they are used to give an opinion or to confirm an information. Number two, when you have a positive statement, you have a negative question tag and vice versa. When you have a negative statement, you have a positive tag, okay? That's like, those are the rules here, okay? Now, rule number three, and this is where some people, not all of them, tend to get lost is that you need to follow the, the verb tense of your question, uh, the tag question, for you to make the question tag. If you notice here, rain is boring, this is a simple present with the verb be, okay? So affirmative, simple, present with the be verb, okay? So I need to make my question tag negative, present, in the simple present tense with the verb be. 
All right, I cannot say rain is boring, uh, doesn't it? For example, because in my sentence, I'm not using simple present with the other verbs. I'm using simple present with the verb be. For example, I say, um, for example, let's say like tomorrow someone is talking to me and say, Jessica, yesterday was your birthday, wasn't it? All right, because it's already simple past. Yesterday was your birthday, wasn't it? So mm -hmm. yesterday was simple past with the verb be. The question tag needs to be simple past with the verb be in negative. For me to say, yes, it was, all right? So if I ask, for example, um, Natalie, um, I want you to say yes, Natalie, or, or at the end of the, the question tag, all right? Uh, Natalie, you um, completed the platform, didn't you? Uh, no, I didn't yet. Okay, all right, okay. So in this case, Natalie answered in a negative way because she hasn't, she hasn't finished it, all right? But what I want you to see is my sentence was, you completed the platform, simple past, all right? For simple past, I need to use a simple past question tag. Didn't you? Mm -hmm. Natalie can say, yes, I did, all right? Because she's confirming my information here. Or she says, no, I didn't, Jessica, because I didn't have uh, time, okay? But you, do you understand how the pattern works? Positive statement, negative question tag. I need to pay attention to the tense of the verb on my main statement. If my tense on my main statement is simple present, my question tag has to be simple present. If it's uh, my statement is simple past, my question tag needs to be simple past, right? Do you guys follow me or not? Yes. Yes, yes. everybody, Natalie, I, yes. I can see your faces, not all of yours, but Ellie, do you understand what I'm talking about? Or so, so, Ellie? Más o menos. Okay, Williams, so, so. <laughs> All right, Elizabeth Moreno. Yeah, yeah, yes, I'm yes. sorry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, Ale, you understand? Barbara, Noe, Elmer, do you guys understand? Ana, hi, Jenny, Portillo, Diego. Yes, I do. Okay, Alexia, Selena, Ana, Walter, do you guys understand? So, so, teacher. So, so, all right, very good. Okay, necesito que lo que no esté tan understandable, que I didn't understand. Okay, voy a seguir y usted me va diciendo a dónde de verdad que la, lo perdí o la perdí. Okay? Yes? Si volvemos a poner los micrófonos porque oigo la noticia de alguien. Yes. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you so much. Okay, look at this one. As the statement is negative. Negative, all right, negative statement, simple present. ¿Cómo sé que simple present por el auxiliar? All right, you don't like me. Esa es mi opinión. <laughs> you don't like me. Y le digo, do you? Y ahí me arriesgo que usted me diga, no, I don't. O que usted me diga, yeah, I do. All right, you're a nice person. Yes? Negative statement, positive Elmer, tag. Elmer, that's the answer. <laughs> Excuse me? Elmer has the answer for <laughs> All right, Mario, behave. All right, so you don't like me, do you? All right, so I'm asking here. I want to make sure that you confirm the information or that you give me your opinion, okay? So positive statement, negative question tag. Negative statement, positive, que uh, positive question tag. I, I pay attention to the tense of my statement, so I make sure I use the same tense on my question tag. Yes? Yeah, okay. No sé yes. Si... Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver. With auxiliary verbs, the question tag uses the same verb, y es lo que estamos diciendo, the question tag uses the same verb as the main part of the sentence. If this is an auxiliary verb, have or be, 
then the question tag is made with the auxiliary verb. Positive statement, they have gone away for a few days. So in my negative, uh, sorry, in my question tag, voy a usar el auxiliar que están usando in my statement. Yes? You have to, that's why I say you have to pay attention. Negative statement. They have gone. He had met him before. Okay. Hadn't he? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Without auxiliary verb. Estos tienen verbos auxiliares acá. Por ejemplo, have, porque estamos hablando del presente perfecto. Entonces, en mi oración siempre voy a usar un presente perfecto. They have gone away for a few days. Como sé que es pre presente perfecto, porque ocupo have, plus el past participle, have gone. In my negative tag, um, in my negative uh, question tag, I'm going to use the auxiliary in negative or the auxiliary in positive, depending on how it should be. Okay? Now, Chef, yes. Uh, in this example, mm -hmm. uh, he had met him before, hadn't he? Uh, if I say, for example, in the present tense, right, uh, he has met him before. Mm -hmm. that uh, the answer, the third question should be hasn't he or does he for this, if I this, have in, uh -huh. if I if I have in present this this all right this yes sentence. for example you say he has met him before has met uh -huh. him instead of being uh, past perfect it is present uh -huh. perfect he has met him before hasn't he right okay or you okay. say he hasn't met him before has he all right uh -huh. usted puede jugar if it's negative positive if it's positive negative but using the same auxiliary that corresponds all right if i'm talking to for example noemi and flor i say they have because there are two they have met him before haven't they they haven't met him before have they so i'm going to use the auxiliary verb depending on the person that I'm talking about. If I'm using has, it's gonna be hasn't. If I'm using hasn't, it's going to be has. If I'm using have, it's going to be haven't. If I'm using haven't, it's going to be have. Es como lo opuesto, yeah? Guys, yes? Hola, hola. Yes. Les voy yes. a contar cuántos yes. tengo. Tengo 18 en clase. Y solo yes, veo dos cabecitas por ahí haciéndole así. Excellent, Noemi, very good, okay. Ahora, estos son using auxiliary. Luego tenemos, if the main part of the sentence doesn't have an auxiliary verb, the question tag uses an appropriate form of do. All right, I'm sorry, someone is testing me here. Okay, a statement, positive statement, I said that. Ahí no veo ningún auxiliar, ¿cierto? No, okay. yes. No, yes, hola, hola, yes or no, no guys. No, 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 no auxiliary. No, no, Pero entonces no. lo primero que tengo que hacer es decir, bueno, espérese, entonces ¿en qué tiempo está esto? I said that. Usted como pass, ya pass. sabe sus verbos, ¿verdad? Sí. Entonces usted dice, esto está bien fácil pass. porque está en simple past. ¿Cuál es el auxiliar para el simple past? Did. Pero como mi oración está en afirmativo, mi, mi question tag tiene que estar en negativo. Entonces, I said that, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Yes, you did, teacher. Yes, you did, Jesse. Yeah? You understand? Yeah. Okay. Yes. All right. Ya lo voy a mandar a ver si es cierto que está Negative statement. You don't recognize me. Tiene que estar tranquila porque es su cumpleaños. No se agite. All right. Okay. You know, mejor, ¿saben qué? El mejor regalo es que lo entiendan de verdad y me digan, yes, Jessica. <laughs> What are you talking about? <laughs> All right. Usually, guys, cuando hablamos de oraciones negativas, siempre vamos a llevar un auxiliar. En las oraciones afirmativas, no. ¿Verdad? Porque son afirmativas. Ya, yeah? en las negras dice, you don't recognize. Imagínense que en 10 años yo voy por la calle y usted me ve y me dice, you don't recognize me, do you? Y le digo, ya, yeah, Eric, se dejó la barba otra vez. <laughs> All right, and I say, yeah, do you? And I say, yes, I do. All right. Oh Hola, my God, it's really... <laughs> All right. So, you don't recognize me, negative statement, positive tag, do you? Oh. O sería al revés. 
You recognize me, don't you? All right, yes. Ok. Seguimos con las preguntas hasta aquí. ¿Cómo vamos hasta aquí? Nice. Nice? Ok. We understand, don't we? Yeah. Yes, I do. Ah, all right, very good. Yes, Waltercito, Selena, no problem, you understand? Yes, I do. Excellent, very nice. Diego, you understand? Rocío, Bárbara? Yes, teacher. Yes? yes I understand. Yes. Excellent. Y Elmer, ¿qué se nos hizo? Se fue. Elmer. Hello, my dear teacher. Ah, how are you? Right. Fine, Elmercito. How are you? ¿Qué, qué, qué callado How's hasta ahora? Así soy yo. All right. Okay. Let's see. Solo quería ver si ahí estaba todavía, si no se había dormido. All right. With <laughs> modal verbs, okay? If there is a modal verb in the main part of the sentence, the question tag uses the same modal verb. A statement. Positive. They could hear me, couldn't they? Yeah? Uh, this one again. You don't recognize me, do you? But that one is not using. Okay. Ahora, hay cosas que cambian un poquito with the type question or the question tags. This is what you have to do with I am. Yo le digo, por ejemplo, I am your teacher. Am I? Soy raro. All right? So that doesn't, you can't. All right? So you have to pay attention with question tags, with sentences that start with mm -hmm. I am. The question tag for I am is aren't I. Es de la única forma posible y humana que usted va a usar el R con el I. No vaya a andar diciendo, uh -huh. I are a student, I are Mario, I are Alejandra. <laughs> no vaya a andar diciendo que yo le dije. All right? Solo for the question tags or the, or the mini questions, yes? So, I am the fastest, aren't I? No me pregunte por qué, porque yo no me inventé la regla. All right? Solo así se le inventaron. No. I'm the fastest, so, aren't I? <laughs> All right, hay gente que le gusta complicarnos la vida, okay? So I'm the fastest, aren't I? Teacher, aren't I? Y usted me dice, yes, mm -hmm. you are, Jessica. ¿Qué le pasó? Después de su cumpleaños se le olvidó todo. All right, so you have to use aren't. Solo para I am y solo para question tags. No vaya a andar diciendo, I are a student, she are a teacher, no. Nada de eso, right? Si no lo regreso al básico menos uno. Okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Because in, a, in a normal question, you can say, am I doing this well? Right, yeah. Yeah. Okay. But in that way, you're not really mm -hmm. using a question tag, Natalie. Okay. Right? If I say, am I your teacher? And you say, yes, you are. All right? But I, that's not a tough question. All right? Uh -huh. A tough question would, would be the beginning. If you notice, Natalie, the beginning of the statement is not a question. It's a sentence. That's why it's a statement. I say, I am your teacher. Right? Mm -hmm. It's a statement. La, lo que la hace pregunta es la colita del final. La mini question. I am your teacher. Aren't I? Um, uh -huh. He is Eric, isn't he? Yeah? Porque ya está en el video. All right. Yes. Ahí está la hija de Noé. <laughs> All right. Very good. Okay. My dear teacher. Yes, my dear student. Will you share the, this PPT? Ya sabía yo. Class? Siempre se las envío. <laughs> sí, el marcito, no claro que no sí. No. Oh, ni porque es mi cumpleaños, ni me perdona, ni un día este hombre. All right, very good. Yes, I'll send it to you. Okay, questions? No questions. Yes, I have one question. Yes, I have. So, like for example, if it's the other way, the other way around, for example, if instead of saying I am the fastest, I will be using a negative statement. So on the other, on the negative, on the tag question, I will be using positive, right? For example, yeah. I am not the fastest, uh -huh. are I. All right, we're and gonna, this, uh -huh, uh -huh, continue. Or, right, and that's the first question that I have. The second uh -huh. question, if it's, uh, since we are using am and are, is the same thing when using simple past? Like, I for was example, the fastest. No, I that one, fast. aren't I? You say, I was, I was the fastest, wasn't I? All right, so it's, it's 
just for the simple question. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yes, Alejandra. All right. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. We're going to see the other question. I think I'm going to answer uh, like right away with the other presentation. I just need to see if they understand it. Yes. No entendí, teacher. Ya lo voy a explicar el mercito. No se preocupe. All right. Veamos aquí la otra. Permítanme. Cito. Uy, guys, what did I do with my presentation? Para andar visitando esos sitios. <laughs> Ay, el me. Eh, pe, guys, bebés, permítanme que no sé qué es aquí. Está. Ah, no, ya sé dónde está. No nos aflija que no nos va a mandar la presentación. No, 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 no. Es que son dos. Porque quiero contestarle la pregunta de Alejandra. Ya sabía yo. Very good. Thank you, Ale. A ver. Here, let's continue with this one, guys. Question tags, okay? She likes tennis, doesn't she? Why doesn't she? Because we're taught the, the statement is affirmative. The statement is affirmative and is simple present. She likes tennis. The question tag is negative and it's using doesn't because it has to be negative. She likes tennis. She. My brother didn't listen to pop music, did he? They will go to the, uh, to the birthday party, won't they? They will go. That's, uh, of course, that's the uh, future. It hasn't rained yet. Has it? Hasta ahí vamos bien. Yes, guys? No problem? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Number one, Barbara, can you read, please? Questions. Question tags come at the end of a sentence. When the sentence is affirmative, we use negative tag. When the sentence is negative, we use affirmative tag. Form auxiliary verb plus subject personal pronoun. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Don't worry about this. Okay. This is what I want you to pay attention here. Alejandra, are you ready? All right, here, I told you, I am, when you use I am, you have to say aren't I. Only, and that this is answering your question, only when the tau question is going to be negative. When your sentence or your statement is negative and your question tag is affirmative, you have to go back with am I. All right, so la, la regla, solo esta regla rara aquí nueva, digamos, solo va a funcionar cuando su question tag is in negative. Yes? Yeah. All right? Yeah. If, if your sentence or your statement is negative and your question tag is going to be affirmative, ahí no hay problema y regresa como siempre lo aprendido. Only when your question tag is going to be negative, vale. Yes? Yeah. Okay. okay. All right, okay, so that's why it says here, be careful, all right? Si su oración, por ejemplo, yo le digo, uh, don't you, tell me, help me guys, don't you, um, I don't know, don't you open, I don't know, pero me voy a pensar en uno, pero cuando su oración empiece con don't, all right, como que fuera un imperative, your question tag is going to be will. All right, y cuando su oración dice, por ejemplo, le, le digo yo, let's study, shall we? Porque let se convierte en shall. ¿Por qué? Porque si se lo inventaron, no se complique, así es. All right, you just, to, you just have to remember, let with shall. All right, let's go, shall we? Let's work, shall we? Let's dance, shall we? Let's study, shall we? All right, es como que usted está invitando a la otra persona. Let's begin the class, shall we? All right, siempre, siempre, siempre is going to be. Every time you see let's, esas son como las excepciones que realmente si se fija solo hay cuatro. All right, let's, every time you see let's, usted piense shall. Cuando su oración piense, empiece en don't, ya, no, ya vamos a pensar en una, su so question tag is going to be will. When can it's, be, hola? Don't you, can it be for the third example, don't you love me? Ah, Something sure. Like that? sure. Don't you love me? Will you? Do you love? Um, kind of, Ale, but I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna find a better example just because it, it would make more sense. But I, yeah, you're on the right track. All right. All so right. here it says, okay, here, here, here we have one. 
Uh, I'm doing the right exercise, aren't I? I'm not in the right place, am I? Don't, don't be, I, like, that's why I said it's like imperative. Don't make any noise, will you? All right, let's go to France, shall we? So when you talk about, don't open the window, will you? All right, es como que no lo haga. All right, don't do it. <laughs> so it's kind of like an imperative way, like a command kind of thing. Let's go to France, shall we? Guys, do you understand? I, I don't yeah. understand very well like, yeah. hearing that example of shall we. So the, answers, the statement is in positive and the third question is positive too. Yeah, only, Natalie, this, this, that's, why, that's why I'm talking about exceptions here. All right, this one, if you notice, this is the only one that whenever you're, because this is not really a, an affirmative statement. It's like you're saying something, like let's do it, all right? So that one is the only case that is gonna be positive, positive, if you see it that way, all right? Because that one is like you're inviting, all right? Like, let's go, let us go, all right? So let's go, shall we? Let's go now, Natalie, shall we? You see, yeah, Jessica, let's go, all right? So we go. Okay, so that's the only case, Natalie, when okay. you're gonna use positive, positive. The rest okay. of the time is gonna be like, like vice versa kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay. Okay, thank you. All right, let's see, ready guys? Como no tienen preguntas, les voy a preguntar yo. All right. All right, Noe, ah, no, Noe, pero la primera, la dos, Noemi. Her mom is, uy, por ahí voy con una tele y una marimba por ahí. Her mom is a lawyer. All right, thank you. Her mom is a lawyer. Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, Noe, what is, what uh, is the question? Is, is the uh, J is, J the J, Noemi, what happened? No, better make here. <laughs> Sorry, is didn't didn't he? Her mom is a lawyer. That's in she. Okay, primero identifiquemos en qué tiempo me? está. En qué tiempo está, no? Eh? Her mom mm -hmm. is a lawyer. Not the a liar, present. a lawyer. Present with the verb be, yes? Yes. Um, ah. Isn't she? That's right. Her mom is a lawyer. Isn't she? Very nice. I don't uh, know. Escojame alguien para la número tres. Um, Eli. Eli, uh huh? Hola. <laughs> number three. Um, she is good to. Um, good Hasn't she? Letter H. She's got two siblings. Letter H. Hasn't she? Is that correct, guys? Everybody else? I think so. You think G? Yes. Yes. G. G? Can dijo G? Yeah. El éxito. Yeah. Explíqueme por qué. Uh, be, first of all, because the statement is in simple present. Number three, Eric. Uh, yeah. Eric, me voy a agarrar, mm. espéreme, me va a dar algo. No, 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 no. She got to see. No, no. Eric, me va a dar I'm un ataque al corazón because... en mi día de cumpleaños, Eric. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> no, no I'm confused that. because sometimes, sometimes we use got uh -huh. in to... to to express that we have something, mm -hmm. but she's got two siblings. Um, but she's with the contraction that she has. Aha, aha. Can you stop with Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Simple present. Oh, simple present. Simple present, Betty. Oh, simple, I mean, simple. simple. Oh. Present perfect. Present, present perfect. perfect. Present Thank present you. <laughs> That's okay. Um, she's got two siblings. I'm sorry. That's okay. Hasn't she? All right. Very good. All right. Ellie, thank you, Eric. And thank you, Ellie. Ellie, choose another classmate, please. Who's going to do number four, Ellie? Um, Natalie. Natalie, number four. Uh huh. Read it okay. and tell me what the, the question to, excuse me, is. Am I going with you? Letter 
C, aren't I? Ah, very good. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> because yeah, start with I am. <laughs> All right, it's okay. I just wanted to confuse you. All right, Natalie, choose someone else. Uh, one of the Marios. <laughs> one of the Marios. Uh, creo que solo un Mario hay ahora. Cortez. Mario Cortez. All right, Mario. Aha. Uh -huh. Mario, Mario. I'm going. Where are you, Mario? I'm going with you, no. Mario, where are you? No, number five, Marito. Number five, okay. Yes. Uh, do you know him? Do you? Excellent. Letter you don't a, know letter him. E. Letter E. Do you? Very good. All right. Very good. Uh, Mario, can you choose someone else, please? Uh, Selena. Selena, excellent. Aha, uh -huh, Selena, can you read number six, Ellie? We didn't see Jake. Uh, letter, letter B. No, excuse me. Letter, letter I. Did we? Excellent. All right. We didn't see Jake, did we? Excellent, Selena. Very nice. Selena, can you choose someone else, please? Ana Valencia. Aha, uh -huh, Anita. Very good, Ana. Read the sentence and tell us what the question tag is. Um, he left early. Uh huh. And um, he left. It. Didn't he? Excellent, Anna. Very good. Nice. Very good. Anna, can you choose someone else, please? Uh, Elmer? Elmer. All right. Aha, uh -huh, Elmer. Number eight. Uh, we'll share it. Um, F, one day. Excellent, Elmer. Very good. Nice. Elmer, choose someone else, please. For number um, nine. For number nine, Alejandra. Uh -huh, Ale. All right, number nine, I mean number... Yeah, number nine. I haven't told her, have I? Number eight, I mean letter eight. Letter eight, right, have I, very good. And the last one, Ale, can you choose someone else to do it? Um, yes. Jenny Portillo. Uh huh, Jenny. Very good. Thank you, Ale. Mm -hmm. um, she misses her mom, uh, hasn't she? Mm, are you sure? Um, hey, Jenny. She misses her mom. Isn't he? Isn't she? Little um, Jay. <laughs> Jay. No. Jenny, she misses her mom. ¿En qué tiempo verbal está, Jenny? Past. She misses her mom. Mm -hmm. Doesn't she? Excellent. She misses her mom, doesn't she? Simple present. Very good. All right, guys, do you, got, do you understand? Yes? Yes, yes, or so? Yes. Yes. No. Yes. yes. Perfect. Yeah, teacher, Hola. Uh, please, uh, can you repeat the, um, with modal verbs? Oh, with modal verbs? Uh, Selena, yes. you're always going to use the same modal verb that you're using. They could go, couldn't they? They shall, yes. they should go, shouldn't they? They may go, I mean, they might go. So if, whenever you use a modal verb, Selena, you just use it on your top question or your question tag. So what the, the one you're using on your sentence is the one that you're using in your question tag. Yeah? Okay. All right, okay. What I want you to do guys right now is I want you to take a picture of this. Te van a salir dos fotos porque si no le va a salir cortado. Take two pictures. This is picture number one as el number 11. And then take picture number two. 
when you, you have to do a smaller teaching. That's good. Right. Really? In order to... to Ay, take, así, muy chiquita. No, no, a little bit more. A little bigger? Yes. Ay, no sé qué. Sin exagerar. <laughs> Walter, no sé qué hice. <laughs> Ahí, ahí está bien. Ahí, ahí, espéreme, espéreme, vaya ahí. Sí. Ten sentences. Ya, yeah. son catorce. Ah, pues más chiquita. Perdón. Tomé dos fotos, Eli. <laughs> All right, finished? Yes. yes. Okay, take the second picture. The, the, the last four. Okay. 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 So what I want you to do, guys. Puede subirlo un poquito más. Qué barbaridad. Hasta la hasta la diez tengo. No, no sea así. Hasta la diez tengo. Bye. Puede subir ahí, 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 ahí. Gracias. Gracias, un amor. Cuando me conviene. All right. Finished. Yes. El mercito finished. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, so here, guys, this is exercise B. What you have to do is what I'm going to send you to your groups, and you have <clears throat> some sentences have mistakes, not all of them. Cross them out and write the correct words above, okay? So, haga las correcciones a las que le corresponde. No todos tienen error, okay? Yes? Okay. Yeah, all right, I'm going to stop sharing and I'm going to send you to your group. I know what you're saying. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Bueno, y Magdiel no ha entrado desde hace días, ni, ni Norma, ni Jenny. Que viene a fase uno es más yuca, que lo han saturado uno de trabajo. Eso sí. Mañana es el último día, no me voy a faltar. Me enojo y no soy la maestra del avanzado uno. <laughs> 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 I don't even know. All right, guys, start working, please.
Yeah, I think that's correct. correct. Uh -huh. Eleven is correct. Yeah. Okay. And number twelve, she she's got enough money, doesn't she? Mm -hmm. yeah. Is it correct? Yeah, she's got enough money. See, Hasn't. yeah, I think it's hasn't. Hasn't she? No, she's she has, she has got. Got yeah, us. because the, the uh, contraction is has or yeah, this has. Uh -huh. She's got enough money, hasn't she? Uh huh. Hasn't she? Hasn't she? Yeah. She's got oh. enough money. So that's number twelve. Yes. Wilder. Wilder. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. It's okay. My dear teacher, how are Hi. you? Fine. How are you? Good day. It was good. Well, it was a good day. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Okay. We have been working so hard. Haven't, haven't we? It's correct. Uh, yes, I think yes. Haven't we? Haven't we? Okay. Estuvo rico el día, ¿verdad, teacher? Of ¿No course, el mercito, yes. Ese es el tag hoy, David. ¿No es así? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is, el mercito. <laughs> es que estábamos explicando el, el tag a David. A David. En español. ¿Cómo, se, de, de, de ¿cómo se utiliza en español? Ajá. No, no. <laughs> y es así como se lo dije. <laughs> Debe estar right. chateando, hombre. Es que they are congratulating <laughs> me. I'm sorry. Ok, está bien. Está bien. You finished already. Ya me dejé de estar regañando. Yes, ya me voy y salud. You finished everything. Yes, teacher. Uh, yes. Ah, wow. David, uh, yeah, David can, can, uh, David, ayer, ¿por qué no entró? I, no I, tenía ganas, qué barbaridad. No, I had a problem uh, with my connection. Ah, all right. Of the internet. Okay. Eh, uh, David, you. ¿se lo puede explicar, teacher? No, usted explique. No, mejor David. No. Ajá, David, a ver. <laughs> okay. Uh, a mí me tiene miedo. The, there are errors in the... And the number uh, uh, number two because she doesn't she asked for help. Oh yeah, this case is didn't she? Yeah. Uh, and the number three is will they? And the number four is haven't you? And the number uh, the number seven is good you? Would you, yeah. And then number eight is R and I. Excellent. And the number number nine is didn't she? The number ten the number ten is cool could you mm -hmm. and the number twelve is hasn't she? Mm -hmm. And only that, only that. Very nice. In these Thank sentences, you. There, are, uh, there are mistakes. Very okay. good. Nice mistakes. job, David. Yo sé que usted lo hizo solito, so congratulations. A mí lo que me importa es aprender, teacher. Ay, hombre, este ya me voy. ¿Sabe qué? ¿Sabe qué? Hay algo que yo no comprendo. El Mercito. Dígame, dígame. You, you say, oh, I love you, teacher. Pero siempre está peleando conmigo. Así son las parejas. <laughs> Ay, whatever. <laughs> Bye, Elmer. Ay, no, David, como lo aguanta en el grupo. <laughs>
la cachamos. No, es que tengo una alumna que no <laughs> está haciendo un ejercicio del otro grupo. All right, very good. Uh -huh. Yeah. Y como están con el TOEFL, entonces es a little heavier. All right. Hi, guys. Welcome back. You finished? Yep. Excellent. Yes. All right. So let's see it then. Make my day. A ver si es cierto. All right. Let's see. Eh, number one. Yo voy a leer la oración y usted me dice si hay error o no. Y si hay error, then you tell me. Number one. She okay. doesn't know you. Does she? Okay. It's correct. Okay. It's correct. It's correct. Okay. Okay. All right. Number two. She asked for your help, don't she? It's incorrect. Correct. Okay. Right. What is the mistake? That's didn't, she? didn't she? Didn't it she? Didn't, didn't she? Didn't she? Because it is simple past right here, right? Past. Yes. Number yeah. three. They won't come, do they? Incorrect. 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 Uh -huh. What is the mistake? Will, Will they? they? Will they? Will they? All right. You have you have arrived late again. Haven't you? Haven't you? Haven't you? Haven't you? Very good. There isn't any sugar left. Is there? Is there? Is it correct? It's correct. correct. I didn't tell you that, did I? Correct. Excellent. You wouldn't dare, did you? Would is this you? incorrect? Would you? Incorrect. Right? Yes, it's would incorrect. You? It, say, it should you? say would you. Entienden esa expresión that you wouldn't dare, would you? Entienden lo que está diciendo ahí? Not exactly. Yeah. Right. Atreverías? Yeah. 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 No, se atrevería o sí. Hmm. Uh -huh. You wouldn't dare, would you? All right, very good. Uh, I am doing a great job. Am I? Aren't I? I am. Very good. All right. The rule is special. Qué raro, verdad? Yeah. I know, but yeah. that's life. All right. <laughs> she fell on her butt. She? Did. Didn't. Didn't she? Didn't she? Didn't she? Yes. The, you couldn't open it, couldn't you? Could you? Could you? Could you? Very good. Uh, he was leaving for the airport, wasn't he? Correct. He's correct. She's got enough money, doesn't she? Hasn't she? Hasn't she? she. Very good. There won't my be. My favorite sentence. <laughs> you will never forget it. There won't be much no. left, will there? Will you? This is correct. Okay. correct. We have been working so hard, haven't we? This is correct. correct. All right. I am happy. Aren't I? Excellent. Happy birthday. <laughs> very good. Aren't I? Very good. Okay. You are my friends. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Are you? Are you? Thank you. you. Thank you. All right. You can dance. Can you? Can you? Guys. Can you? Very good. I am. Esa cabal para mí ahora, verdad? I am not that old. <laughs> oh my God. I'm not. 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 I'm she will phone soon. Won't she? Won't she? Huh? Mm -hmm. Very good. They played games. Didn't they? Excellent. Yes. Didn't okay. they? Didn't Very they? good. Didn't they? Yeah. All right. She's angry. Isn't she? Isn't she? Isn't she? Isn't she? Sí. She's angry. Lo que nunca van a decir de Jessica. She's angry? No, she's never angry. <laughs> <laughs> Not with you, but with my children, yes. You live in Paris. Do you? Uh, Do you? Do you? Don't 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 you? Very good. Yes. All right. Yeah. It isn't raining. Is it? Is it? Is it? Is it? Very is it? good. Y dele la entonación adecuada, ¿verdad? It isn't raining. Is it? Is it? 
Y hasta Rubia ¿Sí? escribe. Es, es, no, es, no, es, no, es, no, mentira. Is it? All right, very good. We've had fun. Haven't we? Haven't we? Very good, yeah. All right, and we finish. Didn't we? <laughs> All right, very good. <laughs> okay, guys, did you understand, guys? Yeah. Yes, teacher. All right, yes, very good. Teacher. All right, very good. Vale, vale. I'm kidding. All right. So, guys, tomorrow. <laughs> I'm kidding, Eric. All right. Remember that tomorrow is the last day of classes. Please be in class. Igual vamos a hacer un repaso de tough questions. All right. And we're going to see something on the platform in case you haven't finished. Okay. So, thank okay. you so much for being with me today. All right, I really appreciate it and I'm happy I finished my birthday with you guys. All right, so have a nice <laughs> night. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.